guys, what's good? Um, I'm going to take you guys through a full uh, upper body session today at the Mecca of Bodybuilding in Canada, Pure Muscle and Fitness. Um, so basically, I'll just go through the workout, um, give you guys some tips and tricks here and there, and uh, let's get jacked. So we're starting the workout with the pullovers. You guys saw I did some bear crawls just to warm up the shoulders a bit. Um, this is just a warm up, two sets, 15, 20 reps, get the lats going. Um, so we're prepped for the next main movement, which is gonna be incline bench, okay? So I'll show what you guys, what I do there. Um, there's gonna be two heavy sets on there, but let's get the pullovers, get the lats, shoulders, everything active. So we get a juicy pump, okay? That's nice, man. This is a sick handle. So the first movement was supposed to be incline barbell bench, but you know, um, we're at this gym, Pure Muscle and Fitness. So we're gonna actually do the incline chest press machine, the Atlantis machine, um, but the same approach. We're gonna work our way to one heavy set for six to 10 reps. That's gonna be the main set. And I'm gonna drop some weight and then do another set for eight to 12 reps. And maybe another drop set because of the machine, right? Um, let's get a juicy pump, get jacked. When it comes to uh, warming up for like your main set, um, you wanna almost make sure the sets, the warm up sets are easy. Like they don't, they shouldn't be fatiguing you, but they should just be getting blood into the muscle and getting all the joints warmed up, right? But you shouldn't be like exhausted. You don't wanna accumulate that fatigue. So what I like doing is, you know, the first set, 10 reps, really lightweight, get a nice pump, nice stretch. Second set, about four to six reps, a little bit heavier, but nothing hard. And then maybe the last set before your main set, just, you know, three to four reps. Just get accustomed to heavier weights. And then you send it on your top set. So don't just go ham prior, because then you're wasting the energy for the top set, right? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Damn, no four wheels today, huh? <laughs> Holy shit, that felt nice. Okay. Okay. It's like really, really good for the ego, right? If your girl broke up with you recently, come here and lift heavy shit. <laughs> so you build her confidence. Only on Atlantis. Only on Atlantis. So you build her confidence back up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally just recording the four plates. Four wheels. Four wheels, let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, that was nasty. So basically like when you do your main set, um, if you take this approach of taking your, you know, like working up to a main set, make sure that main set actually counts, right? Like you shouldn't have any more reps left in the tank after you've done your last rep, right? If you do, like you're not gonna, that's not enough stimulus for muscle to grow, right? So you wanna go hard enough where you can't push any more weight. Go till failure on that set. Cause you're not doing like 10 sets of something where eventually like by the 10th set, you're gonna be fried. This is one set that counts. So you wanna make sure that one set actually counts. Right, it can't be half-assed. That was six-ish reps. I'm gonna drop a plate. Now this one is gonna be eight to 10 reps. Again, same thing, failure, but I'm gonna add a drop set to this. So after I get my eighth or ten, ninth rep, whatever, to failure, I'm gonna drop another play and just as many reps as possible. Oh yeah. Lightweight. Six. Five. 
Titty Thursdays? No, it's not. It's not what it's called. Huh? Let up. <laughs> there's a there's a saying. You gotta hit chest on Tuesdays because it's uh, Titty Tuesdays. But today's a Thursday, so it still works. Titty Thursday? No, that sounds weird. <laughs> Five. Six. Six. Uh, That's how failure sets kind of look like. We're like, you literally can't push it without fucking up your form, okay? That's another thing. If you're increasing weight, make sure the form doesn't change as the weight goes up, right? What happens is like, ego feels nice, we keep adding weight, but as the weight goes up, our form starts to change. So now it's a different stimulus, right? It's not the same exercise anymore for you. So make sure the form stays the exact same. And then you keep going up in weight. So get strong with the standard form. Yeah, hopefully that made sense, I'm fried. Right, so the second main exercise in the upper body day is gonna be a chest fly. Um, so the depressing, heavy shit. This one's a little bit lighter, but higher reps. But only two sets till fail. Like you can't go anymore, okay? Um, the idea behind this is like, you know, that one, you kind of get the contraction where you can't get that full stretch. This one, you get that full stretch, right? So that one and this one combined, pretty much hitting your all, all of your chest, right? If you progress week by week, chest will grow. Okay, it's two sets of failure. Oh yeah. That's nasty. Too much pumping. Eh? Holy shit. See how like the last three, four reps, when I come forward, my elbows start to bend and I start going like this, right? And my chest starts to cave in. That's an indicator that I probably just went too heavy um, because if you want a full chest contraction on this one, on the way back, it's fine with the elbows bent. So you get that stretch. But on the forward position, you almost want to make your elbows meet instead of your hands. So you wanna almost go like this, compared to see what I was doing in the last few reps here, it was like this, because the weight was too heavy. So I'm gonna lighten the load and make sure I get the full contraction where my elbows meet together, rather than my hands, okay? So see, I did two exercises for chest, right? Um, and that's all I need, like my chest is fried. I don't think I can push anymore, right? Um, before I used to do like, you know, 10 exercises back in university. Um, used to be like, you know, decline bench, incline bench, flat bench, cable fly, high cable, low cable, and then a machine fly. That's like nine exercises, right? So. If you send it on two exercises, that's all you need. You save time, you still get jacked. Also, another thing, if you only do some stuff that you go hard on, you can actually recover from it. When you do those crazy workouts, you don't recover from that shit. That's why no growth happens. So do enough that you can recover from it and actually get jacked. You guys, so the third exercise, the main one, um, is shoulder press. 
It's a machine shoulder press, meaning I can just full send it, right? Um, dumbbells and barbells require a bit more stability. The third exercise, only two sets. One set, six to 10 reps. So we're gonna work our way up to one main set and then drop it down for a set of eight to 12, and then a drop set after that. So this is gonna be just a nasty pump, send it on the machine, um, and this is gonna end our push work for the day. And then we're gonna go into pull, okay? If it's a machine, go to failure. I don't even know what to say, I'm fucking fried. <laughs> it's not one of those reels days, you know, where you're just like dropping content. It's like actually working out. Fuck. Basically, just go hard, you know? If it's a machine, especially, send it. Fuck. If you're doing machine stuff, I usually go two minute rest between sets. Um, but if it's more like, you know, barbell, dumbbells, and you're doing heavier top sets, I usually go within the 180 seconds, around three minutes. Um, take your rest, okay? Like, you don't want to be fatigued from the previous set, or you don't want to be fatigued going into the main set. You want to make sure you're fresh so you can actually push some weight, right? And think about it, if you're going, if your resting time changes set to set, week by week and stuff, that's a different variable in the play now, right? Like, you want to keep the rest as consistent as possible, so the progression is as consistent as possible. Rather than changing the rest times all the time, then the progression is also gonna change as well, right? So it's a small thing, but can go a long way. Fucker got me on a rest pause set too. Rest pause set, basically wait 15 seconds, same weight, and send it. One, uh, one quick thing, you know how like, um, there's different approaches and both of them work, where you do a lot of volume, like four sets of exercise and stuff. This method kind of works in the same manner. If you think about it, we work up to one main set, but then on the down set, we have like some other things called intensifiers, right? So a drop set, rest pause set. Basically what it's doing is still adding intensity to your workout, still ends up accumulating volume, if you think about it, because you're doing extra sets and you're doing extra reps, but you're just doing it back to back to back, and you're still getting the same stimulus, right? So this is a different approach, it's both of them work. Choose whichever works for you and uh, stick with it, right? Don't be one of those guys who steals all the 25s when you can just fucking put 45s on it, right? <laughs> right? But it looks nicer like this, right? Six plates, get at me, bro, six plates. Now we're gonna start the pull part of the workout. There's gonna be a single arm seated row, more lat focused, um, again, same concept, two main sets, one heavy set, six to 10 reps, um, and then one down set, eight to 12 reps, okay? So our main set, likely going to do around six 25s. Um, and main thing here is, you wanna keep the same leg ahead, same leg in front instead of opposite legs, just cause the main focus is lat right now, right? And you wanna think about elbow to hip. And you can do a slight bend towards this side, but that's really unnecessary. I know a lot of people go like this, you don't really need to do that. You just wanna think about lat stretch and then elbow to hip. You don't wanna overextend, okay? Also, make sure you stay strapped. Um, you, you want the lats to give out, not your forearms, okay? So simple as that, let's get to it. Oh. <sighs> 
That's another thing, guys. If you uh, work up to your top set, and like say like you start doing it, you get to the rep range zone, six to 10 or whatever for this case, but like you're like, oh shit, bro, like this is not heavy enough. You're already in the middle of the set, send it, right? Like get to failure. For me, I just did 14 reps, but now I know next time when I do it, I can probably add two more plates right away to get to that six rep range, right? But don't let that set go to waste. Don't just write down in the thing, oh, 10 reps, because that was a rep range, and just say, oh, it felt light. Fucking go ham on it, right? That's how you grow. <clears throat> Holy shit. Oh, we're gonna do one more main set. Um, we're supposed to drop the weight, but since that first set felt too light, we're gonna actually increase weight a little bit and then do a drop set on that set, okay? If you're, uh, if you're doing single arm or single leg stuff, um, don't be scared to like take some time off between each side, right? Think about it, you're going ham on one side, it's like you're doing single arm roll, like you're still frying your system. So take, I'd like taking 20, 30 seconds as you go heavier and lower rep ranges. I like even taking up to like a minute, like especially for example, uh, Bulgarian split squats. If you do one leg, you're fried. So you know, rest one minute and then do the other leg. Um, yeah, it's not gonna make you less jacked if you take that rest. It might actually help you get more effective reps, right? Oh shit. Holy fuck. 12 reps at 160. Um, I actually got more reps in the first set this time because I undershot the weight. Um, so I increased it for the second set. I still hit the 10 to 12 rep range, right? So main thing is if you're doing less sets, go ham on those sets, make those sets count so you actually grow, right? Um, next, we're gonna do a single arm uh, pull down. Similar kind of thing, but now the more overhead. Same kind of concept, two main sets. One set heavy, six to 10 and then one set lighter, 10 to 12. Let's fry the lats. This one, guys, too, um, since we're talking the lats a little bit, think about elbow positioning. Rather than elbows back here, think about elbow more straight down. Um, that's about it. I didn't count that last rep, okay? Only six reps. Four. Six. No, oh, fuck. You guys see some reps, my chest starts to cave in a little bit. Um, try avoiding that. Keep that chest angle up. You get a better stretch. Almost think about wrapping your lats around your front of the body, right? Instead of straight up and down, think about wrapping that shit around. We get a better stretch and uh, hopefully you'll get wider and jacked. Hopefully. That's the key word. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's dirty. So first set, six reps. Next set, 10 reps. The first set, the rep range of six to 10. That means next time I come in, I'm not gonna go up in weight, I'm gonna stay the exact same weight until I hit that six to 10 rep range. For the second set, rep range was 10 to 12. I only hit 10 reps. I'm not gonna go up in weight next time, right? I'm gonna stay until I get those 12 reps controlled. Then I'm gonna increase weight. That way you can stick to exercise for like six to 12 months, right? Until you actually get stagnant on it, okay? So small, small progressions over time, you get juicy, okay? All right, so now we're gonna end the session off with uh, some shoulders and arms. So we're gonna do rear delt rows. 
um, two sets with a drop set. So both the sets are 10 to 12 rep range. So you can go a little bit heavier, but not too heavy. Um, and then a drop set after the second set. Okay, let's get to it. The second set is going to be a drop set, so I'm going to try to go to that 10 to 12 rep range and then right after I'm going to drop the weight about 15 pounds and just go failure with proper form. Let's get it. One quick thing here too, um, when I'm pressing, like you saw the drop set, I started to get sloppy, right? It was loose form. Um, but a quick way to stay tight is think about pushing your calves into the seat when you have this here. So you keep tension on your body, stay tight. And then once you have everything tight here, you can just focus on this, right? I started getting loose after the drop set because I got tired, right? But James here, he obviously pushed me through it a little bit. Um, but the tighter you can stay, hopefully better contraction and hopefully you get jacked, right? So we're gonna do two sets of lateral raises. Um, first set, 12 reps. Second set, 12 reps, but there's gonna be a drop set on the second set. So I'm doing 25s currently, so failure both sets. Um, and then right after the second set, I'm gonna drop it to 20s and send it, okay? One quick thing I like doing here is taking a deep inhale first. So you have your chest facing up and keep the arms out here. You don't wanna swing, you don't wanna hip thrust it. Keep the arms out here. And then I, I like keeping my arms straight so it's lined up with your shoulder blades a bit better. And then you just send it. Last few reps, uh, Brampton reps started kicking in a little bit. Um, but it's all good, shit happens. As long as you send it and grow, right? That's what matters. Set. Do your lateral raises basically like how many, whatever days you work out, do your lateral raises, okay? Just so your shoulders grow. Number one thing for a jacked look big shoulders, big arms, right? So if you can just do lateral raises every single day, lesser sets, not as, as many sets, your shoulders are gonna grow and you'll look like you're jacked. Like me, I look jacked, kinda. Um, but no one really cares how strong you are, you know? So as long as you look jacked, that's what matters. So do your lateral raises. We're gonna end the workout off with uh, some triceps. Um, we're just gonna put our triceps in a stretch position with this overhead tricep extension. Um, two sets and a drop set, same thing here. So this is 12 to 15 reps. First set I'm gonna do 12 to 15, take a rest 60 to 90 seconds. Another set 12 to 15, but then right after that I'm gonna drop the weight and then send it, okay? so and highlight the triceps. We've done a lot of pressing and stuff, right? So now this is stretches out the tricep. So you get a nasty pump and you leave the gym looking jacked. 
Okay. I feel like I'm like talking to like my half the time when I'm saying shit. Like talking to my friend or something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm gonna do another set and then a drop set. I'm gonna call it for the upper body day. It goes to show you can hit all the body parts in one session, right? Just go hard enough on each exercise you do. And then as long as you progress week by week, the growth is gonna happen. You don't have to work out six days a week and do like 10 exercises each body part, right? Just do quality sets. Over time progress, the gains come. Stay jacked.